You just have to be kind of consistent in your presentation of it. One way or the other. So my my perspective is just a little bit off. But we're just doing a study. This isn't, you know, anything perfect. And I'm just kind of looking at how the light filters down. So, you know, this for 30 minutes sitting down and just kind of experimenting with some stuff and experimenting with some different forms, this is 100% what a lifetime, what, not a lifetime, what a lunchtime paint along is about. And if I were to do this as a bigger painting, I probably would have gone in and like gridded the bike or traced it, kind of like I said y'all can do. And um, really focused on making sure the perspective was 100% correct. And I would have double checked the perspective on um, all the stones and been much more consistent through all of that. But once again, this was kind of a fun little sit down thing. I'm just kind of coming through and doing a little bit more of the the bike I'm trying to make sure that that makes sense if it gets flat you can I'm adding there's gonna be ambient light that filters down through the um, there's ambient light that comes down from above and so the tops of things are going to have just a little bit of a softer highlight so I'm just kind of coming through and adding a little bit more dimension to the light but um, yeah I think this is good like I said, if I were doing this as a bigger painting, um, I probably would have done some of the writing. I would have brought a little bit more color in here. I would have really uh, focused on some of the perspective of the stones and things like that. But this is, a, this is a quick and dirty thing that we do over lunchtime, and I can use this to work things out. Like, okay, I know I need to, if I do this again bigger, I need to work on the bicycle, make sure it's positioned correctly, correctly, make sure I get the perspective, I can experiment with the colors and the stones. That's what these explorations and these lunchtime things are about. They're about working out small, the problems on a small scale, so that then when we go to do a bigger painting, we can do them on a larger scale, and we've already kind of worked out the problems ahead of time. So thank you guys again, and um, if you enjoy this, share it with your friends, and uh, if you would like a text notification of when we go live again, our text HEY to 727-732-3086. And if you enjoyed this and want more, make sure to get on the waitlist for the Creative Circle. We have some exciting things coming up that are open to the Creative Circle members only. And we, I would encourage you to get on the waitlist to find out when we open. So. Thank you guys again and have a fabulous weekend.